The task. Move an object the size of a building. The tolerance, a mere fraction of an inch. One miscalculation, catastrophic failure. When the unfeasible needs to happen, when physics itself seems to say no, there's only one name that gets the call. Mammut. This Dutch giant rewrote the rules of what's possible. From raising sunken submarines to sliding massive nuclear containment structures, when the world's most audacious projects need a miracle, Mammut delivers. So in this video, we're going to break down how a 19th century shipping company became the kings of heavy lifting the revolutionary machines that made the extraordinary routine, and how one massive acquisition created an unbeatable engineering force. Now, let's go back to where it all began. To understand Mammut's dominance, we need to rewind to 1807. Dutch entrepreneur Jan Kutkop purchases his first cargo vessel, a 140-ton ship on the bustling canals of the Netherlands. This wasn't just another shipping company. This was the foundation of what would become heavy lifting's ultimate powerhouse. Before modern machinery, moving massive objects was nearly unfeasible. Horse-drawn carts handled small loads. Manual labor moved everything else. But Kutkop saw opportunity in the water. His steam-powered tugboats became the workhorses of Dutch ports. His salvage crews developed legendary reputations for ingenuity. When a freighter loaded with valuable cargo founders in Dutch waters, Kutkop's crews arrive with barges, steam pumps, and immense creativity. They patch holes underwater, pump vessels dry, and tow salvage prizes back to port. Combining engineering, strength, and maritime expertise, they earned a reputation for tenacity. For over a century, Kutkop commanded the waves. But on land, a different revolution was brewing. Following World War II devastation, the Marshall Plan created desperate demand to rebuild Europe's shattered infrastructure. Germany's Wirtschaftswunder, economic miracle, required transporting massive industrial components at unprecedented scale. Enter the Von Wesel Company from Utrecht. Their specialty? Overland heavy haulage. Their 1950s yard was filled with cutting-edge machinery. Heavy-duty trucks, early mobile cranes with lattice booms replacing steam-powered derricks. Where Kutkop mastered buoyancy and horsepower, Von Wesel conquered axles, gear ratios, and traction. By the 1960s, mega-projects were emerging. North Sea oil fields, Rotterdam Europort expansion. The components were becoming too large and complex for any single company. An oil refinery module needed Kutkop's barges for the sea journey, then Von Wesel's trailers for final miles inland. The solution was visionary. Merge a 150-year maritime salvage giant with a terrestrial transport specialist. In 1973, the deal was finalized. Mammut Transport was born. They chose Mammut, Dutch for mammoth. It wasn't just a name. It was a promise to provide complete solutions for any logistical challenge, regardless of scale. Today, Mammut operates the world's most advanced heavy lifting fleet. They've moved objects weighing 36,000 tons, lifted structures 400 feet into the air, salvaged submarines from crushing ocean depths. But why did they become so dominant? First, pioneering the self-propelled modular transporter. The 1970s energy crisis created a massive problem. Energy companies embrace modular construction, but how do you transport a 5,000-ton refinery module? The technology simply didn't exist. Mammut's philosophy set them apart. Instead of buying the biggest available equipment, they defined the problem first, then designed tools to solve it. Their breakthrough was pioneering the use of self-propelled modular transporters, SPMTs, in collaboration with Scheuerle in the early 1980s. A massive reactor vessel needed to navigate tight refinery corners. Conventional trailers couldn't handle it. Mammut's engineers, working with Scheuerle, envisioned a platform distributing weight like an army of ants. Each ant, or axle line, carries its share while steering independently. 
The synchronized electronic steering system was revolutionary. A single operator with a joystick could command hundreds of wheels as one cohesive unit. By linking hundreds of axle lines together, operators could guide unlimited weight through crowded plants with surgical precision. Complex carousel turns allowed loads to pivot in place. It transformed heavy transport from simply pulling loads to actively carrying and maneuvering them. Then, the platform twin ring containerized crane. Standard crawler cranes were becoming liabilities, immense ground pressure, sprawling footprints, months-long assembly. Mammut's answer was the PTC, Platform Twin Ring Containerized Crane. The containerized aspect was genius. An entire super heavy lift crane shipped in standard containers. On site, trucks delivered what looked like giant Lego pieces. Specialized crews bolted together massive ring bases, assembled boom sections, and used auxiliary cranes to raise main masts. The counterweight system was equally brilliant, often using locally sourced sand or water for thousands of tons of ballast, saving massive transport costs. The flagship PTC 200DS lifts 5,000 tons with a boom over 650 feet long. Its ring design works in tight spaces, handling loads no conventional crane could manage. Finally, adopting the Megajack system. Following their 2020 acquisition of ALE, Mammut gained access to the innovative Megajack system, computer-synchronized hydraulic towers capable of pushing structures up from below. Instead of hazardously assembling massive gantry cranes at height, entire structures could be built at ground level. Mammut positioned jacking towers at each corner and, with perfect synchronization, lifted multi-thousand-ton structures hundreds of feet into the air. It turned high-risk, month-long jobs into controlled, week-long operations. This revolutionary ecosystem made Mammut indispensable for the world's most audacious projects. Now you know how they built their technological advantage, let's examine some of their most legendary projects. First, precision and height with Dubai's Ayin Dubai. Mammut lifted the 1,900-ton central spindle of the observation wheel to over 400 feet with exceptional precision. Any miscalculation would destroy the entire structure. The operation required millimeter accuracy across multiple crane systems working in perfect coordination. We now turn to the international crisis response of the Kursk submarine recovery. This project demonstrated Mammut's ability to operate under extreme pressure with global scrutiny. Their solution bypassed traditional slings entirely. Divers working in crushing cold and darkness used robotic cutters to create precise openings in the submarine's hulls. They inserted custom-designed high-strength steel plugs into the vessel's reinforced framework, lifting force from 26 massive strand jacks distributed across the submarine's strongest internal points supporting the vessel from within rather than crushing from without. The operation required unprecedented international cooperation between Dutch, Norwegian, and Russian teams. Another monumental undertaking was the environmental legacy of the Chernobyl New Safe Confinement. The colossal 36,000-ton arch, the largest land-based object ever moved, represented more than engineering prowess. It was about protecting future generations from nuclear contamination. Using specialized skidding systems with Teflon pads and hydraulic jacks, the structure moved inches at a time over 1,000 feet into position. The environmental stakes made precision absolutely critical. One mistake could have compromised containment for decades. These projects established Mammut's reputation for tackling challenges others wouldn't attempt. But then, a formidable challenger emerged. In the United Kingdom, Abnormal Load Engineering, ALE, had become a true peer competitor. With groundbreaking innovations including the Megajack system and world record holding AL.SK series cranes, ALE challenged Mammut's supremacy. For over a decade, the industry became a high-stakes engineering rivalry. If ALE announced a record-breaking lift for an offshore platform on the Gulf of Mexico, Mammut countered with an even heavier lift for a refinery module in Southeast Asia. 
Their engineering departments were in constant competition. While costly, this rivalry dramatically accelerated innovation across the entire heavy lift sector. Projects became testing grounds. Each company pushed technological boundaries to outperform their rival. Then in 2020, the battle ended. Mammut acquired ALE. The consolidation of the two largest heavy lift engineering fleets on Earth created a single entity with an unmatched arsenal of thousands of SPMT axle lines and several of the world's largest cranes. This wasn't just an acquisition. It was the absorption of a rival's engineering DNA, creating an undisputed industry leader. Today, Mammut's core philosophy remains engineered heavy lifting. But that engineering is as much digital as physical. Before any work begins, their engineers create a digital twin of the entire operation, running thousands of simulations, modeling every variable from ground pressures to wind loads. This digital rehearsal is now standard procedure, allowing them to identify potential clashes down to the last inch and transform high-stakes moves into predictable, problem-free operations. Their most valuable asset is no longer just steel, it's software and people. So, the three pillars of modern Mammut. Advanced simulation technology. Every project is rehearsed digitally before physical work begins. Risk is eliminated through virtual testing. Unmatched equipment arsenal. The ALE acquisition created the world's largest fleet of specialized heavy lifting equipment. Global engineering expertise. Combined teams now possess institutional knowledge spanning every major industrial sector. This approach means projects that once seemed unfeasible are now routine operations. For competitors, Mammut scale makes direct competition nearly unfeasible. Smaller players must specialize in niche markets or specific regions. For clients, one-stop shopping for any heavy lifting challenge. Projects move faster with single source accountability. For innovation, reduced competition could slow technological advancement, but Mammut scale enables massive R&D investments. For future projects, from decommissioning offshore oil fields to space exploration logistics, Mammut is positioning for next generation challenges. The heavy lifting industry has essentially consolidated around one dominant player. Mammut's journey from Dutch canal boats to global heavy lifting leadership demonstrates that sustained innovation and strategic acquisitions can create unassailable market positions. They prove that with enough ingenuity, no object is too heavy and no challenge is insurmountable. Their story also shows how industries evolve. Individual brilliance gave way to systematic engineering. Competition drove innovation until consolidation created dominance. The question now, will Mammut's market position stifle future innovation or will their scale enable even greater technological breakthroughs? Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.